Dropping those in waifus, what's going on? My name is Hermzar, and welcome to another live reaction review of Suppose a Kid from the Last Dungeon Boonies moved to a starter town. For some reason this past weekend, I've been craving a new episode of this anime. I'm supposing it's because it's probably the least problematic anime that I've been reacting to and reviewing this whole season. But still, I'm really excited because the last episode, it started laying a little bit more in and we're starting to see a little bit more of the real of Lloyd. That there are people who are possibly just as strong as he is, for example. Example. Uh, what's her name? Philo? Philo seems really strong. She was able to break a rib. And Lloyd is the weakest of his village. We saw a little girl just break his arm. So more is being unveiled as we go, which is really awesome. Before we hop into this episode of Suppose a Kid from the Last Engine Boonies moved to a starter town. Uh, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe. We're trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the month. And uh, yeah, you guys could help, totally help me get there. I currently don't know how what, what my analytics are right now. But you guys are awesome. And uh, I love you. And thank you so much for all the support that I've been getting lately. So anyways, let's hop into this episode of Suppose a Kid from the Last Dungeon Boonies moved to a starter town. Ba, 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 ba. She kind of looks like a detective. How come, whenever, how come whenever she does something, obviously it's because she's strong, but whenever she does something, there always has to be a big boom sound, like a big thumping sound just to show her strength or that she's a giant. All she did was lift up our boy and all of a sudden that big ass sound effect. Steaks? Steak does sound pretty good, to be honest. Suppose it's looking like you need to clean up the mess and you kind of saw it coming. You know what's weird? This title seems appropriately long compared to the other episodes. Oh, are you gonna ask him on a d d d d d d d date though? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I love how her her belt is like wingmanning her little uh sad moment over here. This, I need one of those. It's like a cameraman. Oh my god, dude. She's definitely Yandere just to be with Lloyd. <laughs> yes, yes, that means everything. Oh, what does he want? <laughs> Wait, uh, as an apprentice? I oh yeah, he wants to be Lloyd's apprentice. I forgot about that. <laughs> so it's an arranged marriage. <laughs> oh, here they are at it again. <laughs> Lloyd Lloyd just walks away. He's like, oh, all right, normal. <laughs> I'll be going away to do a live-in part-time job. Oh wow. Cause he works hard. He's a good worker. Look at that innocence. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, the chief, Alka, the powerful witch herself is willing to work with him. They're both going to do it. <laughs> at least he's earnest. He wants to learn to survive on his own. <laughs> that, that pressure. <laughs> he understated this guy. Dude, it's crazy that everyone could feel his presence though. Oh, he was a leader? You could tell by those scars on his face. Well, Philo and her sister is gonna be there, so it looks like he's gonna be spending some time with them and then also getting closer to them. That's probably why they have him there, to kind of accidentally figure out the situation. All he has to do is some rune magic to clean up the whole area, right? That's what I would think. Oh, Kiki, oh, what's going on, baby? At least it's only part-time. He's not working full-time, so he has some days to relax here. She's really underestimating him. He's really about to clean up that place in a matter of minutes. See, look at that. <laughs> Not even minutes, seconds. <laughs> what the fuck? Now it's just too bright. <laughs> Why did he whisper secret like that? Oh, look at that spiffy hotel uniform. It would it would have been so much fun how he says secrets like wah. Reminds reminds me of like wah da she. A noble. Nobles are always, well, not all trash. At least he wants to be a little bit independent. It's all trying to please him, it seems. <laughs> the poor guy, he's in the corner. <laughs> oh, he's gonna find a liking into Lloyd. Lloyd is very, very knowledgeable. <laughs> Lloyd is impressive. Good job, Lloyd. Yeah, you know, to be fair, this looks like a, a beautiful landscape to me. Because here in California, everything is kind of warped. When I went to Seattle, for example, the landscaping is so green. It's so pretty there, even though it's a lot more gloomier over there than it is here in California. Man, is it pretty. Man, does the air feel fresh, too, because it rains a lot. <laughs> Having an idiot son about your age. <laughs> Good job, dude. Lloyd killing it right now. Not only with work, but interpersonal relationships. Oh, so the owner might actually be the cause of people going comatose? Why would everyone, anyone want to build some treants, though? Wait, is his son what's his face? 
Okay, so they're using Trion to get high quality lumber to sell. Demon Lord Seedling. Okay, so this is something that Lloyd could definitely get involved in. The sapling is parasitic using animals and humans to spread its roots. Wow. So that thing can continue to grow and make things worse. It should expel the treant from their body. I doubt there's a treant in his body though. He's too powerful. The treant probably wouldn't even survive. I don't think that's the case because what's because Chrome wouldn't send someone like Lloyd over to be a hazard. <laughs> no, I don't think he's figured it out. <laughs> I really don't think he's figured it out. Okay, so like they're blaming each other, but it's definitely an outside source that isn't these two. I'm assuming this is an arc in its own. Wait, what's her name? Riho's there too. Oh, how convenient the whole squad would be there. And Lloyd's gonna be like, oh, Riho, baby girl. <laughs> hey, Lloyd about, about to massage baby girl. Let's go. <laughs> She's nervous. Of course she'd be nervous. <laughs> oh, he's gonna feel inadequate. Oh, no. Oh, of course everyone's gonna be there. Oh, she gonna be so happy. So I'm assuming this is an arc in its own. So this is gonna be like a few episodes, which I'm very excited for. Oh, look how, look how fucking pretty she is. I think she's really pretty. Marriage? Don't tell me. Don't tell me, Belt Princess and Alan. No. Why is he still reading a newspaper? No. <laughs> Sweaty man child. That's what Alan is. Alan's a good boy. Because uh, Alan did disrespect her in the very beginning. I'd be like, fuck that shit. But Alan turns out to be a good boy. I bet you Lloyd is going to be the one serving them. <laughs> She's ready to kill. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> so the whole purpose of them coming together for this marriage proposal is for a discussion. <laughs> Why is she hyperventilating? <laughs> no, I want to see it. It's turning into hentai. <laughs> Alan overheated. <laughs> Alan is an idiot. So Lloyd was filling in as the sun. Let's go. And then, and then of course, Alain's like, yes! No, nah, she's just taking advantage of the marriage, right? <laughs> exactly, that's what she wants. <laughs> what I really like about this anime is that they really lay out everything that is going to happen. They lay out the groundwork the first episode, and then it leads off into something major, right? It kind of, It's kind of like when Lloyd first entered the town. Obviously, everyone's training to be a soldier. He doesn't get in, and it leads up to this point. Now here, it's it's a lot more lighthearted. He's a hotel worker for part-time, and people, there's a lot of fingers pointing at different places, but there's a deep-rooted issue that we still don't know about in terms of why people People are producing high-end lumber and where all of these treants are coming from people are reading the room wrong just as Lloyd always does and conveniently everyone is showing up Selene Philo well Philo was already there but Riho shows up Selene is there um Selene looking very cute in that dress as well it's sad though that Marie and Alka couldn't show up there but out of Lloyd's request this is like please don't go I need to figure this out on my own I need to learn how to grow on my own which is very admirable of Lloyd because he's trying to grow as a human then again his common sense still needs some growing up as well this episode all and all really fucking funny because not only is Lloyd overpowered he's just very efficient and because he got the liking of Alan's father he's like oh you could be a stand-in for for Alan and marry Selene but honestly that whole marriage proposal thing was just so that Selene's father and Alan's father can talk Alan being Baka as well hopefully things will get settled in that way but overall, I I love this episode. Really, really enjoyable, funny, and nothing real even has happened yet. It's going to lay out the groundwork for something that's that's way bigger that's going to happen. And I can see, even though Lloyd seems to handle a lot of the situations accidentally, I feel like this is going to be a situation that he's going to have to fix on his own. He is going to be fighting apparently a demon lord tree sapling. So let's see what that's all about. I have a feeling also that it's possibly his brother that planted that there. So they said a traveler, and I'm assuming that that might possibly possibly be his brother and we still have to find out whatever happened to that other girl who was supposed to compete that ended up losing she lost to uh to Philo I think 
during the competition, just the, the practice round that that she's going to now end up working with Lloyd's brother. Anyways, guys, that is my live reaction review of Suppose a Kid from the Last Dungeon Boonies move to a starter town. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys go to drop a like for me because that would help me a lot. And please subscribe. We're trying to get to 50,000 subscribers. Now, also, a big suggestion for me is to make sure you guys click that notification bell. So many people are like, wait, you uploaded that? And I've been uploading that. So don't forget to click that as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh,